bring on the ground and then use the road to walk them straight directly onto the um, furnace pit because it creates a couple of problems for those who step um, that I said you step for. As we start now, as we progress in, I will need to wear a mask. Once I get up and get a chance to wear it, then I'm allowed to take my mask off because there's a significant distance between me and you. So I can do that. And then also uh, for communion, you will have to receive communion in the hand. Um, please follow the arrows and directions stuff on the floor. You do need to maintain social distancing as we come up for communion. So if you horizontal strips of face mark off the six feet of distancing. And distribution of communion has to, needs to be done in center aisle only. So we'll do the two sections and then out here and over there just do that in a way that we can maintain um, distancing. Any comments, questions, concerns, gripes, complaints? Welcome, and I'm happy that you're all able to be here tonight, and let us celebrate the Pentecost. continue with the sign of our faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries this evening, let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. He came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to eternal life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the Lord, God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, 
who willed the Paschal mystery to be encompassed as a sign in 50 days, grant that from out of the scattered nations the confusion of many tongues may be gathered by heavenly grace into one great confession of your name. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever.
you shall be to me a kingdom of priests, a holy nation. That is, you must tell the Israelites. So Moses went and summoned the elders of the people. Then he set before them all the Lord had ordered him to tell them. To the people, the people all answered together, Everything the Lord has said we will do. On the morning of the third day, there were peals of thunder and lightning, and a heavy cloud over the mountains, and a very loud trumpet blast, so that all of the people in the camp trembled. But Moses led the people out of the camp to meet God. They stationed themselves at the foot of the mountain, Mount Sinai, was wrapped in smoke, for the Lord came down upon it in fire. The smoke rose from it as though from a furnace, and the whole mountain trembled violently. The trumpet blast grew louder and louder while Moses was speaking, and God answered him with thunder. Then the Lord came down to the top of Mount Sinai. He summoned Moses to the top of the mountain. The word of the Lord.
rivers of living water will flow from within him who believes in me now think of water and, and what we use water for the image of water oftentimes symbolizes life it symbolizes death it symbolizes cleansing purifying quenching and quenching of thirst which then is attached and connected with life if I have plants and I don't water them they'll die they have to have water to live but if I water them too much they'll also die so there's a balance there that imagery is used in baptism when we die to sin and we're born with new life and the washing and the pouring of water into baptism. So as Jesus gives us this image today, if anyone who thirsts, come to me and drink. As you think of thirst, I, I like the image of thirst in the scriptures. When you're thirsty, what do you want to do? You want to quench the thirst. You're, you're driven to quench it. Lately, I've been waking up in the middle of the night just thirsty. So I gotta get up and go get a drink of water. I don't want to get up. I'm tired. I want to roll over and go back to sleep. Then I try to go back to sleep, and I'm thirsty. I can't. So I have to get up, go get a drink of water, nice big one, go back to bed. That thirst is something that that creates a, a drive within us, and we pursue that drive until it's quenched. And Jesus invites us to thirst for him. To thirst for the living waters. If we thirst for him in that same kind of thirst, if we are driven and we long for that satisfaction, there's a beautiful psalm that's used in the um, office the priests pray every day. This one comes up once every two weeks, I believe it is, every week. And there's a line in there that says, as a deer yearns for running streams, so I yearn for you, my God. And I love that psalm. I love that image, that, that particular line. And every time I read it, I think of how I yearn for God. And that's in good times and in bad. There was one time that I was kind of down in the dumps. That tragedy in Perry. It had me down. I was down all day. The next morning I got up and was reading the Psalms and I read that Psalm. And I said, yes, right now my soul yearns for God. Like that deer longs for running streams. I, I needed that comfort. And that's what Jesus talks about. That if we turn to him in our times of struggle, our times of difficulty, and turn to our Lord when we're alone, when we're hurting, when we're isolated, when we're suffering stress, anxiety, maybe even when we're just in doubt and wonderment of what I should do or what I can do or whatever. In those times of need, if we turn to our Lord, He will provide us with comfort. He will satisfy our longing and our thirst, just like the river of living water that flows within us. And that's the key. It flows within us. So we don't have to take it in. It's already here. It flows within us and satisfies our need. So let us turn to our Lord in our needs. Let us turn to the living water that will flow within us, within those who believe in Jesus Christ. And let us believe.
believe in one God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. And I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. And for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. And he rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. And he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. I believe in God. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. My brothers and sisters, Almighty God wants all of us to be saved and calls us to the knowledge of truth. Through this common prayer, let us pray with all our hearts, not only for ourselves and our own needs, but for all people. For the church, that we may faithfully confess Jesus as Lord and be guided by the Holy Spirit to continue the mission of Christ in our time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a new Pentecost, that God will pour out the Spirit in a new and abundant way to renew humanity and all of creation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a spirit of hope, that all who are overwhelmed by life may find new reasons to live this day and be gifted with the vision of all that should be tomorrow. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a spirit of wisdom for all government and business leaders, that they will develop policies for reopening society that both protect society and promote the well-being of everyone. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are unemployed, that God relieve their anxiety and open new opportunities for them to find work and support themselves. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Lee Knoll and all who are preparing for the priesthood, for those who are in diaconate formation, Chuck Ruart and Steve Lucas, and for those in religious life that they may grow in their knowledge of God and of themselves. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Bo and Kathy Hill, Greg Updahl, Father Bob Fox, Jeff McClever, Mary Davis, Jim DeSullet, and all the intentions in our prayer box and those listed on our prayer line, that they may know healing and being touched by God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Dan McGuire and all who have died, that a perpetual light shine upon them, and they rest in peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and ever-living God, your will for us is that none should be lost and all should be saved. Through the prayers of your church, guide the course of the, of the world in your peace, and let your church serve you in tranquility and joy. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Pour out upon the, these gifts with the blessing of your spirit, we pray, O oh Lord, so that through them your church may be imbued with such love that the truth of your saving mystery may shine forth to the whole world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And, lift them up to the Lord. and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those who you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This name, Spirit, is the church came to birth, opened to all people the knowledge of God, and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession, all, uh, in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers and angelic hosts sing together an unending hymn of your glory. of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon us by the Kedupal, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks said the blessing. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and eat, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for all, so our sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation. Give you thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Stephen, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him. 
him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer one another a sign. Lamb of God, who was slain. Thank you. 
Let us pray. Pour out upon these gifts the blessing of your Spirit, we pray, O Lord, so that through them your church may be imbued with such love that the truth of your saving mystery may shine forth to the whole world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. A couple of quick announcements. Uh, first of all, a reminder that if you have not sent in your reservations for Mass in June, please do so. Uh, we did mail out to everyone registration forms, so just fill out those reservation forms and get them back to us. You can drop them off here at the church. You can mail them to the rectory, um, whatever works for you. If you don't have your form, you didn't get one or you lost it or whatever, um, give us a call and we can um, make reservations. I did put in the bulletin this week, I believe, uh, Tamara's the one that's doing all the reservations, so her number is in the bulletin. You can call her direct and um, make reservations. But you will need reservations for June, and those reservations will be for the whole month. So every Saturday or Sunday, you'll have that reservation and be reserved. Also, if during the week month, uh, there's a weekend that you're going to be out of town, you're not going to be able to make Mass or something, give Tamara a call and let her know. So if we have people on a waiting list to come, uh, we can plug them into that slot. Or also, if we get visitors from out of town that come and don't have reservations, uh, we can plug them into those spots. So you will be assigned particular seating, and um, so that will help us to maximize the available seating that we have to get the most people that we can to Mass. Okay. I will be departing tomorrow to go back to Minnesota for, um, for a month of vacation. Um, Father Carr, Michael Carr, will be filling in for me for the next three weeks, and then Father uh, Hip Wynn will come for the last weekend. They'll just be here on the weekends. We won't have Mass or anything during the week. Uh, we'll just have the weekend Masses. And um, he gets to figure out the first Sunday in June of how we're going to coordinate everything. So um, that's why I chose June. I figured I'd let somebody else deal with that. But actually, we pretty well dealt with it. So um, have a happy Pentecost, and I will see you in July. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth and proclaim the Gospels.